Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're gonna to be doing a range test on the Hay Bike Mars. Now this is a four inch folding fat tire e-bike. If you guys wanna check out all the specs of the bike, make sure you check out my last video because that video was like 30 minutes long, a lot of information, but everything you pretty much need to know about this bike and my initial impressions. But today we're gonna to be taking it through the country real quick and see how many miles we can get out of this battery. Now this is gonna be a few day test actually i started the test yesterday i didn't film any of it but i went 8.8 .8 miles yesterday down into in the town up a bunch of hills and everything so that was 8.8 .8 miles we're gonna ride today for a while see if we drain a battery if not maybe i'll continue it tomorrow but eventually the battery's gonna die and we will see the range of this thing now i'll leave timestamps down below in the description for specific parts if you guys don't want to watch all the boring stuff and skip right to the good stuff now I'm not going to record this whole ride, but I'm going to turn the GoPro on or switch over to a chest mount during some important parts like up some hills and stuff so you guys can see how it climbs. A few things I wanted to mention is the voltage that I've been getting out of this thing or peak watts I should say on the watt meter here on the display. When the battery is fully charged I was getting about 750 watts somewhere around 750 to 760 so 500 watts is probably nominal for the motor and it's peaking out, I would say around 750 with a full battery, 760 with the 15 amp controller that's installed on here. Overall, not too bad, not, not bad at all. But like I said, I will show you guys, uh, bug in my mouth. <laughs> I will show you guys it going up some hills. And um, like I said, I've already went about nine miles, so it's not even a full battery, but I'll show you guys going up some hills and how it handles. And hopefully this video will help you guys decide on if this is the right bike for you. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention too guys, if you join me on Instagram, you'll be able to see behind the scenes photos and like previews of my future videos and stuff like that on things that I get even before I publish videos. And you guys can chat with me on there too as well. So if you guys are interested, check that out. See you in a few minutes. All right guys, now one thing I wanted to show you that I mentioned in my initial video was look at these brakes guys no squeal at all i don't know if it's because the style rotor it has how it's not exactly like round it's kind of like like this but i'm going down this hill there's not a squeal at all it also might be because of the type of brakes they use a lot of my other bikes use a ceramic metallic brake pad which is pretty noisy but they do give you very very good stopping power these i noticed don't have quite as much stopping power as my other bikes they're still pretty good but they are very, very quiet. So you do have a little trade-off with stopping power and them being quiet. So just keep that in mind, guys. As you can see though, not really any problems as long as you're using both brakes. But I did notice after they heat up just slightly, you have a little bit less stopping power, but overall in my area, they'll be perfect. I do like how quiet they are though, because the other ones sometimes really annoy me. And I was very impressed with not even really having to adjust these brakes out of the box. I always have to adjust my brakes. Now, I'm, I can't say that yours are going to be like that if you buy one of these, but maybe I just got lucky. All right, so we're just cruising in PAS5. I have this set for zero through five. And like I said, no throttle works in PAS level. So we're just relying on the pedal assist. This is a slight incline here. We're hitting about 14 to 15 miles an hour here. Let's see what the GPS says. So slightly off on the speedometer, GPS says I'm cruising about 16 and a half miles an hour. The display says 20 right now. GPS says 17, 18. Oh yeah, right over those bumps with that suspension, no problem. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm kind of liking these Chow Yang tires. Uh, I noticed they, I don't know if they have different styles or different versions, um, but I know this one says it has some nylon and three millimeter, like a three millimeter liner, I think it said in them on the side of the tire wall. So I don't know if that's kind of like a toughy liner, kind of like an anti-puncture thing or what. I haven't taken them off to look at them, but if so, that'd be, that'd be pretty nice but we're just cruising right around 18 to 19 miles an hour in PAS 5 
and my battery is about I think two bars down at this point at about 11 and a half miles in between yesterday and today I right, got a slight incline here I got it on pedal assist zero using the throttle I got a full throttle it's pulling 640 watts 660 watts 670 and the battery's at two bars probably because I got a load on it it'll probably jump back up once I release the throttle yeah down to two bars already and we are 3.9 miles into this this ride will say four miles plus nine yesterday that's 13 miles so far so my other bikes riding around this area uh 10.4 amp hour battery i get around 18 to 20 miles on average depending on how many up and down hills i go on and things like that so we'll see if this beats that in theory it should because it's a 12.5 amp hour battery Right over them bumps. Sometimes I see myself hitting bumps on purpose now just to try out the suspension. <laughs> Let's go back over up over the curb. No problem. That's just a little curb. A little curb, but no problem at all. Let's see, what hills do I want to go up? Let's go up the hill that I normally go up in all my hill tests. There's one down here in town that's pretty steep, so We'll check it out. You'll see my battery bar did go up one bar, back up to three. So that was probably because I had a load on it for a while. So I'd imagine it's going to at least go down, back down to two once I start going up this hill again. All right, guys. So I'm at the hill, and it's not too steep right here. But when I get up around this bend, it starts getting really, really steep. So we'll see how this bike does. I was back up to three bars. Now I'm down at two. So we'll see how far or how easy or hard this is to pedal up here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to be in gear one. All right guys, so here we are. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, but I'm in gear one helping to pedal. And one thing is uh, 644 watts. Like I said, the battery bars are only at two, but with the 48 tooth chain ring in the front versus the 52 of my other bikes, it do this bike is a little bit easier to pedal manually. but it's still a workout <laughs> going up these hills like this. Oh yeah, I'm putting a lot of effort in. Still two bars on the battery level. 600 and I think it was 80 watts, 680. I kind of wasn't looking at it when I was really pushing, but a lot easier now it's starting to level off a little bit let's go this way Whew. <laughs> shift back up so if I had a full battery it probably would have went up that a lot easier but you know you're going to encounter hills like that when your battery starts to get down a little bit so I wanted to show you guys what it would be like still made it up it now I still have a few more hills to go up like that before I get back to my house. So I'll see you guys here on the next one. Hopefully we make it home with battery. <laughs> I think that's one bright sun. It's probably gonna be setting here pretty soon. All right guys, so this is the last big hill before my house. We're at 8.1 miles, so that's a total of about 17 miles. And I'm at two bars. We're drawing 645 watts. I'm gonna shift down to first gear here. And that's some loud birds or whatever that is. But uh, up it so far, pretty good. Traveling at about 10 miles per hour. Drawing 633 watts, two bars. Shift up a gear here. Flattening off just slightly. It's gonna get steeper up top here. Not too bad though, for having almost, what did I say, like 18 miles on the battery right now. Uh, still having some pretty decent power. 667 watts. 
So my other bike with the 10.4 amp hour battery would probably be about dead right now. Uh, I mean, it might, this might be limiting me power a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. I'd have to try this again with a full battery. But it's not cutting out yet, so that's good. Hopefully I can make it home and run the rest of the battery out around home because we still got one more pretty good stretch to go up around up here. And I've been using uh, PAS Zero with the throttle a lot because like I said previously, throttle doesn't work in the PAS levels. So I just leave it in zero and just use the throttle and essentially that's like a unlimited range of PAS levels. So whatever you're comfortable with pedaling, just give it slightly less throttle than that. And if you need a little bit more, just hit the throttle a little more. It's actually really nice having a throttle in PAS zero. I wish all my other bikes had that as well, or at least gave you the option to turn it on. All right, here's the last steep part. Downshift a little bit. I'm in second gear now. 629 watts on the motor. It's probably getting a little dark here, guys. Sorry about the video, video quality here. And I forgot there is one more really steep part, but it's not really, really long. It's down at the bottom of this hill and then back up the other side. But I'm gonna grab this brake with two hands here because this is a pretty steep hill here. One of these days I'm gonna get a uh, meter so I can meter the grade and see how steep these are. I think they have an app for that, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna go into first. And not too bad, right up it. Now I'm putting some effort into pedals in first gear but pretty much right up it. I mean, what more can you ask for after 18 to 19 miles on the battery? That was pretty steep. That's just not a long one like the last one I came up. So overall, pretty good guys. I mean, I think it's gonna have enough power for most people and uh, range is pretty good too so far. One thing I wanted to mention that I didn't, I didn't say initially, but I wanted to tell you guys is on my first ride yesterday, the one I did nine miles on, I actually charged my phone up off the battery as I was riding from 50% to 90%. So that used some of the battery power too. And I also had the headlamp and tail lamp on a little bit. So I'm sure that drained some as well for safety, which I should probably turn it on right now. I don't know if you can see that, the back tail light. Front headlight. And I'm on home stretch now. Just got a few more little hills. And then we're gonna ride around and try to drain this battery. See how many miles overall. Six hundred and fifty seven watts of power. I know I'm saying that a lot guys, but I just wanted to show you guys what this thing's producing. So like I said, when a full battery, I was averaging like 750, 760, I think it was. And just using them gears as I need to. And I'll probably downshift. This is the one I did in my first video, the first hill I did, but now the battery's pretty low. And it's pretty steep, so we'll see if the battery cuts out on this or not. I am putting some pretty good effort in, but still walking right up it. Not too bad. But instead of me going home, let's ride out this road a little bit and see if we could drain this battery some more. I don't think I don't know if I'm supposed to be up in here on this bike but that sunset looks pretty beautiful over there so I'm gonna try to get over there and check it out maybe get a good picture of it or something but off-road pretty good even though this is just a grassy area the front suspensions working pretty good let's see if I can get it better angle for you 
between the front suspension and the uh, spring suspension seat post pretty comfy pretty comfy and guys I gotta tell you I'm almost 10 miles in on this trip today and my butt's not really hurting too bad so this seat's not really too bad it's actually pretty comfortable It should be right around this bend here. Should be able to see it. I don't want to go too far down this hill because I got to go back up it. Let's see. This is going to be fun trying to get back up this hill. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at that sun. That's awesome. Bright red. Let's see if I could switch to a closer view. Yeah, look at that view. It's hard to see now. The sun's kind of behind the clouds, but that was pretty beautiful. So anyway, what I was talking about, about charging my phone, I have, I had my uh, USB cable here plugged into the battery, into the USB port on here. And then I ran the cable down up and had my phone plugged in on my first ride. So like I said, I charged it from 50 to 90% on my first ride yesterday. One thing you have to keep in mind, guys, that I noticed, if your suspension seat is down, if your post is down to the minimum and you have something plugged into here, this handle has to be up to access this port. And if you bounce too hard on your seat, you're going to hit that handle. So you want to make sure your seat's up at least high enough if you're using this port that you don't crush your handle. You could always take the one screw out and take this handle off if need be, but just keep that in mind. You have to have the handle up. I didn't have a problem because I had the seat up high enough to clear it if it went down, but just watch you don't break your handle off all right guys now we got to get back up this hill battery's pretty low so let's see if i can get up it No problem. Actually easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> One thing I noticed too about the suspension, being that it has a suspension seat post and it has front suspension, it actually uh, makes me put more air in the tire. On my other bikes I'm used to keeping the air pressure lower to give you a little bit of suspension. And on this you can keep slightly more pressure in the tire, which essentially should get you better mileage because you have less road resistance between the tire and the road. So that's one benefit about having suspension as well. All right guys, so I'm just over here in this parking lot now, just trying to finish this battery out, cruising around throttle only. So far I'm at 21 miles between yesterday and today. Still at two bars on the battery. It did drop to one slightly, but then came right back and has stayed at two since. Now I think, when it, I think it's programmed so that when it gets down to one bar, it's at 40 volts. So if it gets down to one and stays at one, I'm probably going to cut it there because I don't want to destroy this battery. But um, so far, pretty good at 21 miles. Like I said, my other bikes running them hills and stuff like that. Now I ran a lot of hills and I'm at 21 miles already. So my other bikes would have been dead around at least 18 to 20 miles. So this essentially should get at least three to four more miles because it has another 20% of battery life than my 10.4 amp hour batteries if i get normally 18 to 20 i should get right around 22 to 24 miles and it's looking like i'm definitely gonna probably achieve that if you guys seen my range test on my bike that has a 10.4 amp hour battery on flat level ground on the bike trail i got 38 miles which is crazy and I'm, I'm guaranteed this will go way further than that if this beats it on hills it's definitely going to beat it on the flats as well so keep that in mind guys there's going to be a lot of different variables on how much mileage you get i'm about 165 pounds it's going to depend on how much you pedal how much you use the throttle how fast you're going and things like that but i'm just going to keep riding around here hopefully before it gets dark and see where it cuts out at or goes down to at least one bar at.
All right, guys, so I'm currently at 26 miles. This thing just will not die. And that's 26 miles total between yesterday and today. I've been cruising around here since about, what was it, like 20 miles when I started running around full, with throttle only. And so I've been cruising about at least six miles throttle only, still on one bar, but it's, I'm not really feeling much of a, a limit or much of a cut in power yet. We'll go up this hill over here, but I think I'm gonna have to call this pretty soon. But 26 miles, that's definitely a lot further than the 18 to 20 that I was getting out of my other battery when riding around here on these hills and stuff. Now, I'll grant you, you can't unlock this bike to do 28 miles an hour, but I don't always go fast on my other bike anyway, so let's see here, going up this hill, I'm gonna use throttle only. It's not a super steep hill, but still pulling 600, 600 watts, 614. So, man, I don't know, guys, I'm gonna have to call this pretty soon because it's going to be dark here i'll have to finish this video up in the morning all right we're going to try this hill again i think i'm going to be limited on power now it feels like my speed started to drop and it's still pulling 575 watts up that hill but the battery level is actually down to one bar now on the battery i'm at 18.8 miles let's see if we can make it to 19.2 that'll give us a total of what 28 miles still pulling pretty good wattage but my overall speed dropped I'm at 19 miles an hour now 17 on the GPS so it did drop about two to three miles per hour overall and I think I'm gonna call this but I want to show you guys here this battery bar down at one bar is, I think, programmed for 40 volts. So when I get back home, I'm gonna test this with a multimeter. But here on the battery, if you hold down, you can see it's down to one red bar. So I don't wanna push it too much, but by the time I get home, we'll see it should be around 19.2 miles. That'll be 28 miles total. But I was, I was assuming that this first bar was gonna start flashing. <clears throat> And it hasn't yet, so I'm still getting pretty good power out. It doesn't feel like it, it's limiting me, but I'm hoping it has some kind of cutoff to save the battery life, you know what I mean? Not let it get down too low because most, most batteries or most displays do have a certain cutoff point where it'll start limiting your power big time so you don't kill your battery. If you watched this whole video, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to go on Instagram and uh, join me there for behind the scenes photos and stuff like that but uh see you tomorrow so now let's take an overview look at both of my rides on both days this is the first ride and you can see with the graph in the upper left hand corner there is some downhill at the beginning and then a lot of uphill for the remaining of the first ride now overall on this first ride i went 8.8 .8 miles with a total elevation gain of 1,309 feet for the overall ride. Now in the second ride on the next day, I went a lot further. You could see here again at the beginning, I went downhill. And then for the next few miles, there was a good bit of uphill. And then once I reached the peak up here, I rode around with throttle only for about the last, I would say eight miles or so. And there was a little hill in this parking lot but mostly it was pretty level when i ended the bike said 28.8 miles and i ended with 41.6 volts for a total of 19.3 miles and 909 foot elevation gain all right guys so you can see that if you add both of those trips up i had a total of 28.1 miles and a total elevation gain of 2218 feet so definitely not a level ride now if i were on a completely flat bike trail i guarantee you it would go way way further than that but overall very impressed with how long the battery lasted and i was really impressed with how much life the battery had left in it once it got down towards the lower end of the battery so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified of my future video. Subscribe on Instagram so you see behind the scenes and previews, and I will see you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, there's a link below to this bike if you're interested. See you later, guys.